This is a press briefing organized by the Commissioner of Police, Kwai Bom State. There have been news making the rounds that uh, would work upon the suspect uh, who is uh, uh, claimed to have murdered uh, uh, in Yubong Morin has, uh, has committed suicide and has died. <laughs> and so because of that, the Commissioner of Police had to call a press conference this afternoon for the press to come and see him. And so in that same light, the civil liberties organization led by Comrade Frank Lindison was uh, also invited by the Commissioner of Police. And so we are here. Uh, the Udwak Akban, you can see him in the picture, he's seated live. So he's not dead, as um, uh, uh, has been said by, uh, has been held by several groups that he's dead. You can see him uh, seated with the father. Uh, you can see members of the press uh, here uh, taking pictures of him to show that um, the young man is still uh, alive and the uh, uh, investigation is, uh, is still ongoing. Uh, not very long from now, the Commissioner of Police will be here. So, uh, I'm also sure that Urwarapan um, will be made to uh, face the microphone and uh, talk to the press so that um, uh, the whole world will confirm that um, he is uh, still alive, he's not dead. And, um, Okay. Uh, yeah, we are here, sir. <laughs> can also even see the commissioner of police. He has arrived. <laughs> As you can see, the commissioner is getting ready to, to tell member of the public why he's here. So please, in uh, no time, the commissioner will uh, address the press. Please, uh, you hang on and listen to what the commissioner has to say. As you rightly said, we have the journalists and CLA. That's why we have this number. The, of the, yes. here. the essence is just in parameter. Yes. So it's an interface. We will be discussing. Yeah. I want to break your phone. It is very small. You know, you can't be behind us. <laughs> Please, you cannot be behind us. Nobody can be behind us. You can't be behind us. You can't be by our sides. Please. And you cannot as well block it. You don't even keep the camera here. Don't take it away. I will wait for you. I will wait for you, don't worry. Take it easy. Please, for those who are watching us, the commissioner is getting ready to address the press. So please, exercise patience. Uh, wait for us. As the commissioner is getting ready to address the press. No, no, I'm coming from the desk. You can see, like I said earlier, you can see the suspect seated alive. He's not dead. He said he's coming from the gas village. Where? The gas village. You know 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 the gas village. You know
and what we have been seeing on the media. For the past three days, there's been, I will call it rumor, that has been going around that the prime suspect, Frank Udwak Akpan, in the murder of uh, Inyobong Moren, that he has committed suicide in police cell. They even gave details up to the extent that he used his trousers, and I don't know anywhere in the world where suspects are put in the cells with trousers, that he committed suicide using a trousers to tie and hang himself in the cell. I've been inundated with several calls from all over the world. I see police decided to bungle a, a direct case of murder. And that's why we have decided to call for this press conference so that you can see him. The man who is said to be dead is sitting down here and maybe you will be able to interact with him too. It's most unfortunate that the social media that is supposed to be an advantage to the police and to the, to the citizenry has become a tool that is being used to vilify even the police and the government. It's most unfortunate. You all can see him seated here. He's not dead. He's very much alive, ill and healthy. Well, you can recall that this whole incident started with the job uh, Umore was seeking to have from Apple. And unfortunately, the, the whole thing went sour. The case was first reported as a case of suspected kidnapping. While on, on the trail of the so-called kidnappers, they went, uh, I, uh, ICT people went into the media because Instagram was used to facilitate their meeting. And at the end of the day, pictures of Frank and the father came up and the DPO Uran division swung into action, arrested the father. By this time, Frank had escaped from the house through uh, Oro to Calabar. Some of his relations, knowing fully well that the father is a bit ill, came to speak about the father to say, let them assist. The DPO Uran, who happens to be the SP, that one David who then is claiming is a police officer who conspired with Frank, was brought into the picture and he, uh, he joined the, the cousins to call him and talk to him to come back mm -hmm. because Frank kept denying that he, he first denied that he did not even see the girl at all but later he said he did not know anything about the girl the, he was convinced by the DPO and, all, and the cousins to come back and he came back through Oron from Calabar and he was brought to the police station eventually at this point, he was still denying. He kept denying. And at the end of the day, under serious questioning, he broke down and confessed to having killed the young girl. This made the case to change from anti-kidnapping to homicide department, which investigates murder. Immediately, he led police officers to the scene where they saw the shallow grave and his, the body of the deceased, may her soul rest in peace, was assumed. It was obvious that there was a struggle. I'm not surprised that Frank said, okay, he had kind of knowledge of her at the point, but I'm not surprised there were marks of violence on her abdomen and part of her head, which resulted in the death. The body was taken up and sent to the mortuary for autopsy and autopsy has been done uh, i'm sad to announce that the body has been committed to mother mother earth today may has gentle soul rest in peace Amen. at the end of the day the social media has gone gaga with a lot of stories it's even said that uh, maybe uh, frank belongs to a group of uh, ritualists or people who harvest body parts to sell. Uh, we all know where he was arrested. He does not even have the facilities to keep body parts because if you want to harvest body parts and sell, from my little understanding of uh, medicine, it must be kept under some condition. But such things don't, don't exist there. And they, it was said that a lot of uh, bones, 
a lot of uh, shallow graves were found in the compound, which investigation have not found to be so. And that's why I even when I appeared on Arise Television, I asked the, so the person who wrote that which bones, where did they find bones? At the end of the day, the investigation is still ongoing. We are not foreclosing anything. I will urge Nigerians, instead of going to the, to the press or the media with unclarified or funny information, they should pass it on to the police. Police will investigate. We are still open to find out if it is true that Frank belongs to any body harvesting uh, organization. It's open to, we are open, the investigation is open, the case file will eventually will go to DPP and eventually the uh, justice will take its course. It is pertinent that we should mention all this so that people are not misled. A, 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 a discrete investigation is still ongoing. It's, at its uh, almost at its concluding stage, but we never close investigation until we go to court. So I'm still saying, I'm appealing to members of the public, if you have information on this issue, let us have it, we are open to it. Frank is here, Frank is not dead. His father is by his side there for complicity, accessory after the fact. And at the end of the day, we believe justice will take its course. Thank you very much. Okay. We're going to take questions. But we'll do it in our first game and we need provisions so that we can do and go. We'll give you access to also question them and listen to the story of Frank so that you can get it right. So we'll take three questions. Everyone from here. Okay, you're going to be one. Who is going to be the next person? You're okay. going to be two and you are going to be three. Okay, we'll take four. One, two, three, four. You are the first to raise your hand. So let's hear from you. Now, you are, please, can you come this way? Okay. Madam, please, excuse us from there. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Stand here so that we can see. All right, sir. The Commissioner of Police are quiet. My name is John I report from Planet Earth. There was a story about other shallow graves within the premises of the and then uh, later on, we cited you on, on the TV, the AIT, where you dismissed that claim that there was nothing like that. So, we would like you to clarify that. Well, let me answer that immediately. We are police officers. We don't base what we do on rumor. We were at the site. Police assumed the body. If there are shallow graves there, the particular grave, the particular shallow grave that the nearborn was placed in was not more than two feet deep. Yeah. And such a thing, we all know, even if you bury a goat two feet deep, after about 48 hours, the stench will not even allow you to, neighbors will know, some, you, somebody must know that something has happened there. I saw a BBC uh, video things that look like uh, holes where they dug up yam has been uh, are referred to as uh, shallow grave there are no shallow graves anywhere there are no bones anywhere that is the truth uh, but if anybody can show me any shallow grave there if you can show me but I know there are no shallow graves we went through the ground properly thank you let's have the next question my name is Patrick Kode, I'm still alive. Uh, in, my, I'm interested in the result of the autopsy. Uh, the public want to know at this juncture. Thank you. What's the result of the autopsy? Okay, thank you. The, the cause of death has already been ascertained by the autopsy. It has been ascertained, and at the end of the day, by the time we file our charges, you get to you get to know it all. I want to tell you one thing. The police has nothing to gain by covering anything. We are not covering anything. I have never met a Frank before. He's a young man. My last child is even older than him. So I have no business. This is a murder case. We are talking of a human life lost. I cannot conspire, conspire with him to, 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 to scuttle investigation in any form. It will come out the way it is. And we are going to report it as it is. Thank you, sir. Yes. Yes. 
as be sir. My name is Isaac Jobarai for the time. Last week, the National Assembly, uh, the House of Representatives, urged the, the General Police to bring the case to force a purpose. Yes. Why is the South still in your custody despite such? It's a straightforward case. It's a very straightforward case. My, my headquarters have asked for a report, which we have done. We are Nigerian police, police officers. Uh, there is no difference between the officer in 4 CID and state CID and even in the division. We all had the same training. Mother is mother. The same principles guard the investigation. They, uh, they have not asked me to transfer it after I've sent the report. If they ask, it's even still open now. But the IG, in his infinite wisdom, did not find a need for it because at the end of the day, we are on the right course. Yes, please. Yes, sir. You are done. We are done. Thank you. We will now listen. The CP, the CP has its close and We are done with this and the CP, sir. Well, in closing, I will appeal to Nigerians that rather than going to the media with information, Please inform the police what you have so that we can harness it together and get to the root cause of the matter rather than imagine saying that uh, the man has committed suicide. I've received more than a thousand calls from within Nigeria and outside Nigeria saying that the man has committed suicide. Meanwhile, he is alive. So it's to, we should not have peddle, we should not peddle rumor. If a matter is happening, or is it being investigated or there is an occurrence, please get close to the police, inform the police, fill, fill, fill us in with your information, we will work on it. As I am speaking to you, the investigation has not concluded, we are still going on. So if, they are inform if, they, if you have any information, please let us have it, assist us so that we will all arrive at the same justice. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Please, go in. No, 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 how uh, so, 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 I asked her whether she can work in the farm where her drugs are kept. I asked her whether she can work in the room where her drugs are kept as a secretary. And she said that she can and she ready to do the job. So when she came I revealed to her that this farm doesn't exist. There's nothing there, no farm like that. So, then I know that I'm believes that I would like to have sex with her, and she agreed, but she gave a condition that I should use a condom, which I did, and 
in, while I removed the condom, she became furious and she took the nearby stabilizer to hit me on my head. And then she beat my left my left ring finger and tried to reach for the door, you know, screaming and tried to reach for the door. So while I was bleeding, in a bit to stop her, I used the stabilizer to hit her. And when I hit her, she fell and started to Steady one play, you get it. So where did she hit you? On my phone. Where is the wound? What did you do? You don't have how come? You said she agreed to have sex with you and you use a condom. And then all of a sudden she started to attack you. How did it happen? I said that while I was about to remove the condom, she became furious. Why did you want to remove the condom? Why did you want to remove the condom? You killed her on her head. What did you use to do? What did you use to do? At what point was she shouting, screaming for help? When I tried to. But you didn't use only stabilizer, you used something else. Say it. Okay, that was the iron, the pressing iron. Where did you use to eat? Where did you eat her? When I have to go to the she was quiet. So she held my hand. So the only way I could stop her was to. Was she your first victim? Yeah. So how many, how many people have you killed in that in that process? Just say the truth. Yeah. Say the truth. Okay. You said she was not your first victim. How many victims have fallen? How many girls have or women have, have you done that to? Maybe whether they died or they did not die. How many so far? The same reverse cycle. Yeah, 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 reverse of reverse? About six. six. What of that NYC uh, school uh, shoes? Your house. The NYC shoes is the shoe my mom used when she was in the NYC that we used for family. <coughs> the shoe is used for family in the house. It's no, it's no a copper shoe. It's not as if a copper came out. How did your father insist, assist you in this case? He did not assist me. Do you live in that house? So who 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 helped you to bury her? Come on, man. Come on, man. I'll show you who. Just calm down some more. Did you we hypnotize her with time. any substance? No, no, no. Come on. Who the number of pesticides which are sex which are in that compound? Who owns them? Owen. Those 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 those. Owen. Those are pesticides. Those are those are pesticides which are owned by the Iron Man. There are what seven names of them, them. None of these is your Who has those people? Those names are not your own. Your name names. or any member of it? Different names. What's your level of education? What are you What are you doing? What level? Which school? What subject? What, what subject? What course? What level? What level? Please, uncle, please, please. Please, what's your relationship with Kufre Fion? Kufre Fion is my cousin. And how did he help in this whole thing? You called him on that stick. What's the subject of conversation? That was when I was coming back from the other side of the world. So while I was coming back, Thank you. Now, how do you feel about what has happened? Hello, dear. Galaxy, take your own icon up. Channels. They're on our camera. Where did they pick you? When you kill her, why do you go and dock a, a, a grave to and bury her? Why not take it to the police or report to the police that Chambara has died in your house?
So initially, what was your motive before you came to ask her to come to get the job? What was your motive? What was your mind? Initially, well, initially I first I used reverse psychology. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had very bad experiences with surrounding girls and with prostitutes. So I used reverse psychology and I, I asked her whether she can work in the farm where her drugs are kept. And she accepted to me. Can I go down? Can I sports? So I felt that, yeah, that, that that's the best way to prevent. Oh, you remember? You remember? Prostitutes are around. Have you been you know, patronizing prostitutes? Now, how do you feel about what you've done? What you've done, you are before the whole world. How do you feel about what you've done? I'm not happy about it, but uh, I believe that uh, the commissioner of police is working with his men. He has assured Nigerians, he has assured that private clients from the entire world that justice will take its course. You guys should also. Was well, so your father around when this incident occurred? Your father, your father, been not there when this thing happened. Are you remorseful? Are you remorseful of the entire incident? Yes, you can't go. But you don't, we don't sound and stand look remorseful. You said if you don't, you said don't. justice should prevail. Now, if what that justice, justice means taking your life, taking your life, will you, will you readily it. agree to it? Your life for what yes. you Were you in love with the girl? No. So what is your advice to young men? Your advice to young men. What do you advise the young men? Let's speak with the father. Can we speak with the father? Can you advise the young men? Can, Can we sit back? Can we sit back? I feel. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. On the father's face. Please, please. Don't don't monopolize me. Don't the father's face. Can you sit back? Okay. Sir, please, sir, what's your name? What's your name? Let me just take it easy. Where are you from? These people should wait for us. Please, you don't have business here, leave a bag. Where are you? Are you from my timeline? Please, let's keep quiet now. Are you aware of it? What's your son? I wasn't aware. I'm not happy about it. If I can get him, please get him. So at what point do you, do you know about this incident? At what point? Uh, when uh, I was asked to recall him, when I uh, police came to my compound, checked the compound, they didn't say anything. So I was invited to come and make a statement after the Iran police station I did. So I was asked to call him immediately and I called him back. So when he now arrived, uh, I was allowed to interact with him. He told me that he did something wrong and that he's sorry. I was blaming him. Why do you do this? We have. A, I have. You are not the only child. I have two other children, and there are women. Uh, the undergraduates, one is finishing, one is just starting. Uh, if uh, anybody does this to their sister, me and I said no. So he, he was very. Were you in the house when this? I wasn't was in. I went to town. So is that your house, sir? Yes, it's my compound. Do you live there? there? Yes, I live It is reported that nobody else has access to that, has ever had access to that company. That is always locked. It's no, always locked. That is not true. That's what the never said. That is not true. That, that is not true. We have, we have a, a ball in that house. All the people in this street, they fetch water from there. We have uh, plenty of fruits and vegetables in that compound. We give out fruits free. So it's just unfortunate. Why are you aware that your son has been in No, no. no. That you are involved. I'm not involved. He said he has had... Uh, um, he has taken advantage of over six girls, and you never for one. That's why you stay in that house. I'm not aware about that. Uh, the reason is, is I just relocated. We just relocated from uh, Abuja. I've not been around for 30 years. We've been living outside here. So we just relocated because I've been retired. So it's not up to even two years we fully relocate. So where do you retire from? Uh, okay, from the ministry. Which ministry? Federal Ministry of Health. Uh, my position? Yes. Okay, deputy director. So, um, once in a while, 
some other official assignment take me out, even though I've retired. Like, uh, for instance, the health records, uh, one of the country, uh, the engagement of that, uh, our parasite has the cause of come and do supervision. So that's what takes me out. Then, um, if I'm not around, my other children, they are always around, especially during holidays. So, in the information you got initially you were arrested. Why do I feel in search of your son? No, I, Did you give information to the police? Like yes, very yes, 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 immediately. I said, Ubat says he's going to Calabar. They now said I should call him. So I called him back and he came back. It was when he now came back that uh, mm -hmm. uh, they now asked me to go. And so they now say they are going to interrogate Ubat. Everybody's asking for justice. And what we tend to understand by justice in murder case is a person should die. Do you also request for that justice? Well, um, I, I, you know, it depends on the system. I'm, I'm, I'm not happy about what my child has done. I don't even believe this can happen to me. After I, I send them to school, try to bring them up. Yeah, justice can be done if uh, the system so permits. Your, your, your son says, "Good friend, you have played a very integral role in his arrest." You also say you called him back to Calabar from Calabar. Which one should we take? Your son said Kufre Fiong asked him to come back. You are now telling us you yes. called your son to come from Calabar. Yes, I called him now when, when I was asked to come and make this st uh, statement in Idu. I was, you know, they brought uh, a phone, he showed me two pictures, said, who, who am on this room? I said, ah, this is my son, Ubar. So as we were going to the police station, they said, uh, since he has gone to that, I should recall him. I called him and he... With your number? Yes. There's no record of your number. I didn't call his number because his phone was off. I called his sisters that as soon as we do a car, what is your phone name? Is you call him? Sir, who is Poof Refium to you? What's his name? Refium. is Poof Refium is the son to my brother. He's one of the sons to my brother. Is he his child? Yes, my son is one of his sons to my brother. How many children do you have? I have three children. Sorry, can we get your name again? Frank Akman. Sir, how old are you? Frank Ward Akman. Frank, that's how I'm... Full name. Yes, Frank. How old are you? Do you have any advice? Are you into... How many years old are you? Organ, organ harvesting. No, no, no. But it has been rumored that you've created the business for years. Okay, gentlemen, thank you. We are done. Carry on. Gentlemen, let me thank you. I think we, we needed to do this so that you will get the yeah, so that we can correct all this impression, all this wrong information circulating about the command. We have nothing, absolutely nothing to hide. That is why we brought them here. I'm happy you've been able to interface with them. The truth is out there. Somebody committed a murder, somebody raped and assaulted a beautiful young lady, killed her. And the police was proactive enough to apprehend him. And also, do you know that the young man denied, even while he was brought to the anti-kidnapping section, he was still denying that he never committed that act. It was the resilience of the police command that aided his arrest, number one, and then that made him to confess that he actually committed this crime. It was the police that took him down there to go and exhume. And then for somebody to turn around again, the police have been able to do this. He sits down one David, whether he sits down wherever, and passes as far as for get and say a whole lot of things. It's totally not right. What do we have to gain if we cover this part? And then for somebody to sit down, in fact, the date on that uh, right of was 18. We are not even up to 18th yet. The, the, the month is not up to 18 yet. And you are saying that he hung himself on the 18th of uh, May. And then the information has already gone viral. I begin to wonder at what point in time we will begin to do journalism in such a way that will be critical about things that are posted or things that are being said. We should not be too quick in vilifying the police. I think what we need is a synergy between the people, the police, and of course, journalists, so that we can get this whole thing right. So that's what we have done today. We brought them for you to see, and you've been able to interface with them. Why he is still where he is, is that the courts, the courts are on strike. If the court system was active, believe you me, you wouldn't have met him here. He would have sent him to where he belongs. He would have been charged, 
and I believe that by now, you, if you want to talk to him, you would have been talking to him from the prison. So that's the situation on ground. Yes. Sorry, and you said police broke rapid. Is there anybody that aided his arrest? What is your name? My name is Kufrekas. What for? Is there anybody that aided the police, the arrest? Starting from even the social media itself. That was a big post. That was a big hit. It's reported that somebody actually mediated between him and the police. You didn't hear him talk about that same Kufre here. He said the Kufre is his cousin and he was called. They all called, people were like, oh, his, the father, you have just finished speaking with them. The father was in our custody because we needed to know where his son was. And so he called, he called the sister, as he said, and all that. And the DPO that this uh, David is alleging to have been part, this is the DPO who even arrested him, who was telling, you see, the truth of the matter was this. He needed to confide in somebody. He was like, are they going to do anything to me? Are they going to do anything to me? Will I go scot free and all that? And the people was like, come out first. When you come out, we're going to see where we can assist you. But come, let us see first. And all that. And that was how he summoned courage for police to be talking to him. That look, come on, I am the DPO of this place. And then somebody to just stay and begin to talk about SP. Ezeogo has been a collaborator, not knowing that. The SP is the present DPO of Urwan. He's still the sitting DPO. Go and verify. And this incident happened at his uh, uh, area of jurisdiction. It behoves on him to be the first responder. And that was what he did. What the police needs is commendation. It's not vilification. Thank you. CLO came to observe the briefings. We have promised to follow the matter to each conclusion. Like the CP has said, justice will be assured. And so CLO will be all through the process until justice is not only seen to have been done, but done in this matter. Thank you all. You appear not to know when to make merry, <laughs> when to resolve. <the> <laughs>